Yeah, hi. Are are you Mrs. Mitchell, Anna Grace's mom? Hi, yes. Hi, I'm, I'm Raquel. I am the nurse working with Dr. Patel. Um, can you tell me uh, Anna Grace's uh, date of birth? Sure, this is Anna Grace. Um, she was born on June 19th last year, and she's 15 months old now. Mrs. Mitchell, you scheduled uh, an appointment with us. Um, how can we help you today? You know what, I'm going to hand her over to my mom just so we can talk without any interruption. Yeah, so I've been really concerned about taking uh, Anna and the other kids out since COVID started, um, especially Anna because she's an ex-preemie. Mm. So I haven't been to the doctor since March, and I thought I'd just check in to see if I needed to do anything for Anna at this time. Uh, I, I hear you. Uh, it's really not getting any better out there. I'm hoping that we can get uh, uh, the vaccine soon, so it's going to be over soon. So how, how is uh, Anna Grace doing otherwise? So Anna is actually doing um, really well. She's very active and enjoys playing with her older sisters. She's pretty content. Oh, that's, that's wonderful. How old are the sisters? So my oldest is 10, and she just adores Anna. And then my middle child is six, and she's the one that Anna plays with and really tries to keep up with. Um, they're both at home learning virtually, so Anna has a lot of company around her all the time. So are you at home with uh, the children? Are you the primary caregiver? So I am at home, but um, I work remotely. So my mom comes in three days a week to help take care of the kids. And, you know, now we've kind of gotten into a good rhythm and things are going smoothly. That's great. You are uh, lucky to be able to uh, tell you work. Yeah. And um, Anna had not seen the doctor since March. Yeah, I mean, that's right. Um, but Anna is really healthy. I don't really see why she would need to come in. Um, I feel like I would really be putting her at unnecessary risk by bringing her into a doctor's office. Anna does need to come in to see the doctor. Uh, we need to assess her growth. Also, uh, I was looking at uh, Anna's chart and she had missed her 12 month and uh, 15 month vaccines. And uh, she would need to receive those, uh, that's important. Also, the flu season is coming up and um, she is eligible to take the, the flu vaccine. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? You know what? I actually totally forgot about the vaccines. Wow. I kind of feel terrible now. I'm so sorry. I should have brought her in earlier. I don't know. I, I thought I was doing the right thing. You're, you're doing the right thing. You're protecting uh, Anna and keeping her safe uh, the way you know how. How is Anna doing otherwise? Um, how is she sleeping? Uh, how's her diet? So she actually just started sleeping through the night, um, most nights. Um, sometimes she does wake up around 4 or 5 in the morning, and we usually just have to tap her back to sleep. Sometimes she takes a bottle. It depends on the day. Um, she's actually um, taking one nap during the day now. It's just about an hour and a half. Um, some days she eats well, um, some days not so well. It kind of just depends on the day. That is true for most kids her age. Does she get a variety of foods in her diet? Had she had foods of different textures? Does she drink water? So yeah, she has a wide variety of foods. Um, she likes to taste new things. Um, she's actually graduated from baby food and is eating um, table food with us. Um, she actually has taken a liking to Indian food. And I don't know if that's okay um, with my older kids. I didn't really introduce salt or sugar until they were much older, um, but she is just so interested in our food. Yeah, that, that's, that sounds fine. Um, babies only need a small amount of, of salt in their diet. As long as she's not eating uh, a lot of uh, processed foods, that sounds like that, that's fine. Uh, uh, babies of one to three years of age would only need um, a gram, just one gram. Of, of salt in, in their diet. What about liquids? So she actually loves to drink. Um, she usually has a smoothie with me for breakfast and then she drinks water in a cup with a straw rest of the day and she, she just loves to drink. 
Well, it, it sounds like uh, you're doing a great job uh, with, with Anna Grace. So that's, that's a great job, Mom. Do you have any um, questions for me right now? Yeah, actually, you know, she just started um, having a lot of pain with teething. Um, she's biting on everything. She's fussy. Um, she has two top teeth on the bottom and the top, and I think she's getting two more in. Um, I've bought tons of teethers. I'm actually wearing a teether that she can bite on, um, but it doesn't seem to help. Um, is there anything else I could do to help her feel better? Well, uh, let's see. Uh, uh, try cold washcloths. Um, and then uh, if that will not work, then uh, you can try uh, over-the-counter gels. Or still, if uh, you need something more than um, Tylenol. Oh, I didn't know I could give her Tylenol. That's very helpful to know. Um, I'll start with the washcloths. We haven't done that before. And then we'll gradually try the other things to see what might work. Um, thank you so much. Mm, yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Now, um, when can I schedule Anna's doctor's appointment? Also, your, your other girls uh, would uh, need to see the doctor for their annual health visits. Um, I can schedule all three appointments now. Um, generally available on most Tuesdays and Thursdays. Do you have any availability on those days? Okay, so I, I will have you down for uh, next Thursday at 3.30 p.m. with uh, Dr. Patel. Y you will have to spend uh, 30 minutes uh, for, for each girl. You need to come prepared for that. Okay, so let me uh, go ahead and give you instructions on, on the day of the appointment. So uh, you will receive a text uh, from, from us on the day of your appointment asking you to let us know when, when you're in, uh, when you're in the parking lot. And uh, you will uh, have to wait in your car until um, we text you asking you to come in. And we want you and the girls to be wearing masks at all times. And, and also, uh, we will uh, send you a COVID uh, screening checklist that you will have to complete uh, right before uh, the appointment. And that should take no longer uh, than, than two minutes. Please inform us uh, if you and uh, the girls uh, develop COVID-related symptoms um, between now and, and the day of the appointment. Do you have any other questions for me? No, I think um, you've covered everything. Thank you so much, and I will be prepared for our appointment next week. Yeah, so great. So we'll see you then. But if you have any questions, uh, please do not hesitate to call us. Um, have a wonderful day. Thank you. Bye.